Why you look so short? Look at how short you look. What do you mean? You look really short, look. I don't know. I'm I'm showing that I'm the I'm just here for the sex. Beta? Yeah. <laughs> just here for the sex. <laughs> hi everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. This is Kat, me, and then this is my boyfriend, Araclio. Hello. Um Today we're going to eat things and you're going to watch because that's what YouTube is about is living vicariously through other people. Yeah. So uh, I'm sorry, we are very tired. Uh, you can probably tell by our lack of looking like human beings, probably. Probably, yeah. Um, we're gonna get eating snacks. Okay, so like we went to the Asian food store and we bought everything. Yeah, this is probably part one though because we will probably do a lot more of these. Will we? At least I will. If you want to join, you can. Depends on the snacks. The rules are that you have to try everything at least twice. Twice? Yes, two bites. So can I just not try it at all? Like, no, oh. the rule is you gotta try it twice. What part of that rule didn't you understand? Well, I'm just saying, if I don't try it once, then I don't have to try it twice. That doesn't make any sense. I'm just saying. Okay, so, what do you want to start out with? Um, let's just knock out the gross stuff. Like this. The squid. the squid? You want to start out with squid? Yeah, yeah, because I feel like if I eat a lot of other stuff after the squid, I won't have that squiddy taste in my mouth. Okay, fair. Um, but this is some squid stuff. I seem to recall as a kid eating squid snacks, but they were always like a little too spicy for me, and I don't like spicy things. So I saw this, and it is just um, normal. It's really happy squid. It. He's a really happy squid. You right. Mm -hmm. So this is from, it's a product of Taiwan, and it includes squid, sugar, salt, and monosodium glutamate. So there's no squid in it. AKA MSG. The MSG might help though, yeah. like, you know. I hear it's actually pretty good. It's pretty tasty. Okay. Do I have to smell it? You don't have to smell it. Okay, you don't good. want to smell it. I'm, I'm also scared though, so, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a lot less terrible than I expected. Only because, you know, you don't, really, try a second one. don't really uh do the whole fish. You want some Malibar? Can cats eat this? Probably not, right? I don't know. I like it. Oh! You know, like if you if you don't share your squid, I don't share the camera. I don't share the spotlight. It's plastic. I would describe it as it's like jerky, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's fluffier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, fishier. Mm -hmm. It's like fluffy, fishy jerky. Eat I think it again I think that the more that I eat it, the grosser it is. Really. Yeah. Okay. Um, next. Let's try one of your bear snacks. Bear snack? We gotta do them at once. Like, to compare. To come bear. <laughs> Lily! Why? This one is made by the company Jin Jin, it looks like. We've got two. They're classic ramen snacks. And I've heard that these are very popular in, like, Japan, too are these ramen snacks, and I've never had them before. But like, as a kid, I'm sure everybody did this. As a kid, I would crush them up and then stuff them into my face. And like ramen, like a packet of ramen, I would crush it up and then just like put it in a Ziploc and then eat it. My mom said I couldn't do that because I would get sick. My mom said I couldn't do it either, but I wasn't a little pansy and I hid it under my mattress. So these are supposed to be like a product of that idea. But I have one that's barbecue and one that's seaweed flavored. Why are Asian snack packages so difficult to open? Just going for it. Aww. These are so cute. They're like little pellets of ramen. Little, little cake. No ramen cake. Uh, Max likes it. 
Hmm. That's different. That's not ramen at all. It's a little ramen. I actually don't have it. I think the texture... Max, why are my cats so interested in this right now? I think the texture is off for me. Hmm. No, I want it to be crunchier. Food. <gasps> Max! But. I think if I forget the fact that it's a classic ramen snack, in general, as a snack, it's very tasty. Very snacks. Oh, no. It smells like plastic? It smells like wood. What? Oh, like, sweet. like the inside of a Home Depot. I was going to pick up what you did. All right, it's now. I'm mm. kind of, am I getting big? You're a guinea pig. Mm. Mm. It's not bad. It does have a weird woody aftertaste. Well, she never heard anybody. I think I like the seaweed ones better, though. I like the seaweed ones better, too. Let's have another seaweed one. The seaweed ones taste more like, um, like ramen. Dude, do you want to get those, like, cheesy things and we can eat those, too? What cheesy things? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sure. This is like an intermission dance. Dancing so, is hard to do while you're So happy. All right. We have corn and shrimp. Shrimp? The mayo? We have the mayo one? Is that what that is? Mayo? This is takoyaki. And then this is... Don't they say, usually? It's We're going to find out. We added snacks to the pile. So I got this puff pastry snack. Looks like Combined raisin and dry cranberry in tender puff pastry. Great. Oh, great as a snack treat. Oh, okay. These come like individually wrapped like this. Sanitary. I like it. One. Although I kind of also feel like it's a waste of packaging. A little bit. Like, am I supposed to put it back in the packaging? Yeah, that's why I was freaking out while I was opening it. I'm so in. sorry. <laughs> this is what these are supposed to look like. This is what they really <laughs> look like. That's not what I was expecting. I like it. Mm. Mhm. Mm I dig it. It's like fluffy and crunchy on the outside. And then you have like the chewy raisins and craisins in the middle. It's okay. <laughs> Very flaky. I'm gonna choose the scallions, because I can't. You have to do both of them at once. I don't really know what scallions are. They're called potato crackers from Cha Cha. And we have two flavors. I have the tomato flavor, which I was super interested in. Mm -hmm. And then we have the scallion flavor, and Araclio doesn't know what scallions are, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be actually tasty, so we got both. If you're unfamiliar with scallions, they are... It's cheating, but whatever. They're, I'm pretty sure they're like green onions, but for garlic. Scallion, green onion, spring onion, and salad onion are English names for various allium species. So they're like a green onion. Okay. So there you go. Green onion flavor. Kind of. Mm. I'm pretty sure scallions are different though. No, chives are for garlic. Chives are for garlic. Scallions are like the same thing as green onion. My foot is hella asleep right now. These look real- Oh, oh party <laughs> What do you mean? Did you just say I pulled a cat? Yeah. That's so mean. Sorry, but that's what we call it now. They are a lot smaller and thinner. Although I don't know why mm. I expected it to be bigger, like a like a saltine, because the packaging doesn't really lend itself mm. to saltine-sized crackers. Mm. Winner. So far, we've got two big winners. Okay, tomato time. I'm a little scared of the tomato. I've never had anything like tomato flavored, like. 
savory wise. But sweet wise? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't look like tomatoes. But it's clearly tomato because it's got little red dots as opposed to green dots. That's very strange. It tastes like tomatoes. I think it did like ketchup. I like it. I'm about it. Mm -hmm. I haven't decided. You can have these ones. I'll take on this one in case it is something. Well, what if this is shrimp? It's not. It's takoyaki. Oh. What's takoyaki? Not shrimp. These are adorable, and we know that we like them, but we wanted to eat these. Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. Is it supposed to be brown? Yeah. Okay, good. Perfect, then. I think this one's cheese flavored. <laughs> oh, it might be. Mm. If you have not had these, have them. They come in all different kinds of colors and flavors. My favorite is corn kotage flavored, and it legit tastes like buttered corn. And uh, what's your favorite? Teriyaki. Does it? I don't think it tastes like teriyaki. Mm -hmm. it just Trade. Is it pulver? Pulveron. I'm mad. Pulveron is one of my favorite snacks, and I only have ever liked this color. <laughs> You'll see if I can open it. It's this little crumbly, oh you can't see. It's this little crumbly cake. So it's very delicate. So if you put these in your purse, they will they will get crushed and disgusting. Or your and, pocket. Or your pocket. While at work. While at work. Once you bite into it, it all crumbles and turns into like a powder, kind of, in your mouth. Polvo in Spanish is powder. What? Polvo. Spanish is powder. I didn't know that. No. Huh. I wonder what Ron means. It's a name. Powder Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear that screaming child? Us too. I'm trying to do something. My life. I try these. I'm pretty sure everyone's tried these before. These are like mixed crackers. At Winco, you can find them under Oriental Cracker. I've always been curious to see if these are actually different flavors. Hmm, it tastes like nothing. Now I'm gonna take a pink one. Yeah, those are different flavors. It's a little spicy? The pink one is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's shrimp. I think the lighting's different. Is the lighting different? I think the lighting's better. Don't touch it. I don't know if it was recording, but uh, in summation, these are delicious. Don't eat the red ones. Wait, why not? I like the red ones. Because they're spicy. Oh, they are the pink spicy. ones are tasty. Cheese balls. They're called cheese ball. Uh, Rockley picked them up because they said cheese ball. So it's the like cheese a, ball. Like a Cheeto, but in ball form? Yeah, they're like little orange balls. Wow, that smells not natural. The smell is not natural. It tastes like, it tastes like Kraft Mac and Cheese. It's weirdly cheesy. I should be floating. Not dangerously cheesy. <laughs> it's weirdly cheesy. It's strangely cheesy. What? Get crazy with a cheese ball. And then I got this, which looked interesting. It's called Striking Popping Candy. And this is in lychee flavor. I think it's a Hong Kong brand. Oh! It's Ramune. It's Ramune. It comes in these little packets. So you get one. Oh, I like how they I get individually wrap. I know, this super, is pretty cute. Super waste of like... Packaging, yeah. but... I feel like as a kid, I would have loved this. Think so? Because it's less messy than like Pop Rocks, because Pop Rocks is in that big thing and it gets stuck in the folio packet, you know. I think I liked messy things when I was a kid. 
This is like the perfect amount. It smells so good. Don't smell it. You're gonna get it up your nose and then your nose gonna start popping. Three, two, one. Mmm. You hear it? Keeps going. Wanna make out? No. Oh. Are Pop Rocks hurt you too? They're really good. These are really good. You should definitely get some. And we should get the super sour ones because they had super sour ones too. Oh, these aren't the sour ones. I was like, wow, my tolerance for sour things has gone up way up. These aren't the super sour ones. You know what? Oh, wait, here we go. Sugar, corn syrup, lactose. Lactose? Yeah. Acidity regulator. What are you doing here? Artificial flavor, color, carbon dioxide. Still going. I think I had swallowed some and it's like in my throat. Yeah. So, top three. And number three is probably this one. Number three is the classic ramen seaweed. Uh, this is good, but I feel like the texture is off. But it is very, very tasty and will eat. Number two is the potato, the cha-cha potato cracker and scallion flavor specifically. Mm -hmm. The tomato is too weird for me. I don't like it. I don't like it. But the scallion is very tasty. In fact, I'm going to sneak one right now. Mm. And then number one is this striking popping candy. We really like it. It's really yeah, cool. Yeah, super tasty. It's really yeah. fun. Okay. Yeah. And if you spill it all over the place. Anyway, you... that's it for this snack tasting. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching us eat things. We found things that we liked. We th found things that we didn't like. It was a journey. We all learned stuff. We learned that polvo in Spanish means powder, which that's the main thing I learned. What'd you learn? I hope I didn't make that up. I learned he might have made that up. Mm -hmm. What was the thing that you learned? What'd you learn? I learned that tomato things are actually sometimes pretty tasty. You didn't learn that, but I did. Mm. We learned different things. Mm -hmm. What did you learn? Let me know in the comment section below. Bye. <laughs> Turn the thing off. Turn it off. Uh...